Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the morphology of the deciduous mandibular lateral incisor. What we are going to discuss in this video lecture, we are going to discuss the chronology of development. We are going to discuss the number of this tooth in various tooth notation systems and we are going to discuss the landmarks that are present on the deciduous mandibular lateral incisor. So watch this video till the end. The timeline of development, the mandibular deciduous lateral incisor, the calcification, it begins at the age of 16th week in utero. The crown, it is completed by the age of 3 years and the average eruption time of the mandibular deciduous lateral incisor is 13 months. The root it is completed by the age of one and a half years and the exfoliation or this tooth is lost by natural process by the age of seven to eight years and this tooth it is replaced by the permanent mandibular lateral incisor. So, what is the number of this tooth in various tooth notation systems? So, this is the universal notation system for deciduous dentition. You can see in a clockwise direction, the alphabets, it, they continue. So, these are the mandibular lateral incisor. This is the mandibular lateral incisor of the left side. And this is the mandibular lateral incisor of the right side. So the alphabets for the mandibular lateral incisor are N and for the right lateral incisor is Q. Now in the Palmer notation system, the number, the alphabets are the same for both right and the left lateral incisor. This is the lateral incisor of the left side and this is the lateral incisor of the right side. So the alphabets for both are the B, but the only difference is a symbol. This symbol, it indicates that it is the mandibular tooth of the mandibular arch and it is of the right side. So B for the right side with this symbol. And for the left side, this is the shape for the left side. And the alphabet is also B. Now, in the FDI notation system, so FDI notation system is also known as the two digit system. So, this is the right deciduous mandibular deciduous lateral incisor, and this is the left mandibular deciduous lateral incisor. So, in the, in the FDI notation system, it's also known as the two digit system. So, it's 7 2 for the left mandibular lateral incisor. 7 is the quadrant, indicate the left mandibular quadrant, and 2 is the number of the tooth. Similarly, for the right side, 8 indicate that it is the right mandibular quadrant, and 2, it means the tooth number. So, the number, it is pronounced as 82 for the right mandibular lateral incisor. Like the mandibular deciduous central incisor, the crown of this tooth, it has no developmental grooves and it is the crown, it is smooth. The crown of the mandibular deciduous lateral incisor, like the permanent lateral incisor, it is wider and it is longer. So it is longer and it is wider as compared to the deciduous central incisor. Now, this is the incisal ridge. This is the incisal ridge. And you can see the slope of the incisal ridge from the mesial side towards the distal side. So, this is a slope from the mesial side towards the distal side. So, the incisal ridge, it is not straight, unlike the mandibular deciduous central incisor. These are the two angles. So this one is the mesioincisal angle, mesioincisal angle, and this angle is the distoincisal angle. So the distoincisal angle, it is more rounded as compared to the mesioincisal angle. 
this is the root of the tooth and the apical third part this is the apical third part so in the apical third part there's a slight curvature of the root towards the distal side now from the lingual aspect from the lingual aspect the cingulum it is well developed than the central incisor so this is the cingulum of the tooth and this raised area or this convex area that is known as cingulum it is more well developed than the deciduous mandibular central incisor similarly these are the marginal ridges this is the mesial marginal ridge and this is the distal marginal ridge compared to the mandibular central incisor the marginal ridges they are also well developed so because of the well developed marginal ridges and the cingulum the lingual fossa is slightly deeper as compared to the mandibular central incisor like the mandibular central in deciduous central incisor the crown and the root they converge and because of this convergence, uh, you can see the part of the distal side and the mesial side from the lingual aspect. So it is the, the part of the tooth is visible. Mesial and distal surfaces, they are visible from the lingual aspect. This is the cervical third of the tooth. This part is the cervical third of the crown and the cervical third of the crown it is convex both from the labial and the lingual aspect so this area in this area the convexity is of the tooth it is more pronounced this is the root surface and the root surface it is almost flat with no developmental grooves or depressions and the root it is evenly tapered towards the root apex now from the distal aspect the cervical line it is less curved and this feature is similar in all teeth on the distal aspect the curvature of the cervical line it is less as it was on the mesial side now on the root surface there is a developmental a longitudinal developmental groove is present on the root surface so in this area a longitudinal uh, developmental groove is present from the incisal aspect the crown is not symmetrical it means this is the mesial side and this is the distal side so they are not same both of the sides they are not same unlike the mandibular central incisor as you can see in the picture and this asymmetry is because of uh, because the cingulum is offset more towards the distal side so cingulum is more towards the distal side than in the center of the tooth there's also the curvature of the incisal ridge and the curvature it follows the curvature of the dental arch mandibular dental arch while in case of the mandibular central incisor this incisal ridge it was straight the labial surface of the tooth it is more convex and on the distal side the angle it is more rounded so the lingual fossa and it is slightly it is slightly more deeper as compared to the central incisor and it is because in the lateral incisor there is more development of the marginal ridges and the cingulum so this is all about the mandibular deciduous lateral incisor thank you very much for watching this lecture please do give us your feedback in the comments again thank you and stay blessed